Uh, hello everyone, I'd like to uh, show you my um, dwarf pomegranate trees that I've grown uh, indoors in my conservatory. Uh, these were grown from seed um, and are now um, just under four years old. Um, they've grown um, tremendously quickly um, within the first year of planting. Um, they flowered and fruited uh, within one year. Um, closer to what you would expect tomatoes to do, but this is quite incredible um, how they have um, flourished. Uh, looking uh, closer at the fruit, you'll see that they are um, perfect scaled down versions of normal sized pomegranates, and I would expect them to grow to uh, approximately the size of a small uh, golf ball, or should I say a normal sized golf ball. Uh, they have quite interesting colours, uh, pinks and reds, and they can actually, depending on the amount of sun uh, they receive, um, turn a nice dark red. Towards the bottom of the plant there is further flowers developing, and depending on how quickly they develop, these might develop into fruit, uh, but it's hard to tell as we're now uh, entering the autumn period. Um, if I can just um, turn over the fruit you'll see that they are beginning to uh, split and they're literally uh, bursting with um, seeds. Um, I have a larger um, pomegranate plant also four years old um, which is growing on the floor in a larger pot. Uh, this tends to um, produce um, lots of leaves and not so much uh, fruit and flowers but even with this one I am um, getting some fruit, and you can see one on the uh, on the windowsill over there. And there's a fair amount of flowers which are developing. In terms of the type of plant that develops, uh, I feel that a lot depends on the uh, size of the pot. Um, here we have one that actually I illustrated, um, and uh, there is another one uh, over here which my daughter illustrated and um, I found that the more compact the pot, uh, the more uh, flowers and fruit are actually produced and um, a more compact plant is also produced. In terms of uh, care of the plant, um, they obviously require lots of light and uh, warmth to produce the, uh, the fruit and uh, in the summer periods and during the spring uh, the soil should be kept uh, moist at all times um, during the autumn when the leaves begin to um, yellow and dry up um, less watering uh, should be provided um, as you can see I also um, have some pomegranate plants uh, in the garden and these remain in the garden all year round um, this particular plant is uh, flowering for the second time uh, but um, is unlikely to produce fruit as um, it doesn't have the warmth um, that you would get inside in a conservatory. Uh, what is interesting is that the leaves are smaller and um, more um, lush uh, than the uh, leaves on the um, plants growing inside. Um, Another one which is also beginning to bud um, and it's mid-September so I doubt if these um, seeds are going to or these flowers are going to develop into anything of any significance uh, but uh, it's lush and it's healthy and uh, is quite happy in a UK climate. As far as caring for the plants uh, I will also um, add um, fertilizer to the water uh, once every couple of weeks, I use uh, miracle Grow, uh, which seems to um, work well. Um, I also regularly um, spray the um, plants. Um, this uh, seems to be enjoyed by the plants and um, helps also to reduce some of the um, pests such as red mite, spider mite, that um, could be a problem. Um, but it's uh, often uh, a problem with mealy bugs and uh, I mean, it's an ongoing battle at the moment to try and eradicate them. Um, I hope you've enjoyed um, this video and um, uh,
have a go at um, planting um, these most rewarding um, trees. Um, the variety that I've used is called Punicia nana, it's the dwarf variety and um, I'm sure seeds can be obtained um, from various mail order companies. Uh, thank you for watching and uh, good luck with your uh, pomegranates. Thank you.